All righty. Let's, uh, let's begin this morning in a seated position. I've been thinking about this um, class for just a few days. I have this inspiration. Um, so the, the title or theme of my class is actually Breathe, Move, Be, which for those of you that are familiar with Breathe, Move, Be, that is the name of my business um, that I share with my partner, business partner, Leanne Parsons. And for those of you that don't know, um, although I teach yoga at Anytime Fitness uh, yoga classes, I also certify, or Leanne and I also certify yoga instructors. So um, a few years ago when we had done training for yoga for runners, we launched the business Breathe Move B. And the name came from a conversation we had at the airport on our way back from that particular training. Um, <clears throat> we were trying to decide on a name that really spoke to what we know our yoga practice to be, um, kind of the essence behind why we practice. So for us, it literally is, what do you have to do in any given day? Well, you absolutely have to breathe. In fact, that's the most important thing you can do. And the only thing you absolutely have to do is to breathe. But then on top of breathing, what else would be a good idea? Well, moving, moving your body because movement is medicine. And then ultimately, what does that help you do? Well, if you're breathing and you're moving and you're in sync with that experience, it allows you to remain in this present moment or to be. One um, way to see the words be still, which is what we're working towards, is to understand them as cease striving. So through our practice, we breathe and we move. So ultimately we can get to a point where we are literally still. Um, so that's, that's kind of the essence of the practice today. We're gonna start with breath, we're gonna move, and then at the end, we're gonna have an opportunity for stillness. So having said all that, please join me in a comfortable seated position, whatever that looks like for you. Perhaps it's a simple cross-legged pose, perhaps it's hero pose, whatever feels good in your body right now. And you can even be seated in a chair. So we will, we will definitely do um, a range of movements on our mat, but you can adapt those to a chair. Do what you can do this morning. Uh, move your body in any way that seems, um, that seems available and appropriate, and then allow yourself to sink into that last little bit of stillness at the end of our practice. So let's begin. Let's get reacquainted with our breath. So coming into a simple cross-legged position on your mat, allowing yourself to settle in and get comfortable. Take a moment to bring your heart over your hips and your head over your heart. We're going to all lift our shoulders up to our ears and relax our shoulder blades down our back. We're going to find a little extra length in our spine and we're going to soften our chin towards our chest. So create some space between your ears and your shoulders. Find a nice tall position for your spine. Allow yourself to be comfortable here though. We shouldn't be using muscular energy to simply hold ourselves in a seated position. So allow the parts of the body that are intended to keep that alignment, our skeleton, allow that part of our body to do what it needs to this morning. Align your joints, joint on top of joint for stability. Lightly engage those core muscles, relax the shoulders, lengthen the spine. And when you're ready, close your eyes and give yourself a little bit of time here to prepare for your practice. Prepare for the idea of breathing, moving, and simply being. So we become reacquainted with our breath, knowing that the most intimate relationship we have is the relationship of our breath to our body. When our breath wanders, our mind is also unsteady. But when our breath is calm, our mind will be still. So note that the quality of your breath expresses your inner feelings. So today, we're gonna to allow our breath to be our teacher, knowing that the breath is the link between our inner and outer body and experience. Each movement today led by our breath, and then allowing that breath to lead us into stillness. So continue to be seated on your mat. 
with your eyes lightly closed, bringing to mind the image of an hourglass now. An hourglass that has just been turned upside down and is emptying the sand from the top to the bottom. Now envision your body as an hourglass and allow the sand to drain out of the upper body and down into the lower body on the next three breaths. So together, let's take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, let all the heaviness empty from your head, your neck, and your shoulders. Now pause and enjoy that next inhale. And then exhale, feel the solidity draining from your shoulders, your chest, down into your belly. And then let that inhale expand your torso. And on that third exhale, allow all the sandiness to leave your belly, flow down into your pelvis, your legs and your feet. And let your seat expand into its outline. Soften and steady the breath and let your body land on the ground completely. Now let's go ahead and place one hand on our heart and the other hand on our belly. And for a few rounds of breath, notice the feeling of the breath under your hand. Letting that breath ground you a little bit more, center you a little bit more. Notice as the breath flows in and out of your body. Be aware that you will always be pulled away from your breath. But each time you're pulled away, simply pause and then invite your attention kindly back to your breath. And just continue that breath. Noting the rhythm of the breath, breath breathed in and breath breathed out. And still with your eyes closed, allow your hands to fall lightly on your knees or your thighs and whisper quietly to yourself, Welcome home. As we prepare for our practice this morning, let's come to a space that's free of any competition, free of any judgment, free of any expectation. Slowly open your eyes. So through your practice today, just be intentional with your breath. Let it ebb and flow and let it inform your practice. So as we move into postures that are led with the breath, one breath or one movement, let the breath be natural. Let the breath be intuitive. If we move into postures that are challenging, deepen that breath. So match any resistance you experience by deepening that breath. So beginning in that seated position, again, Bringing your heart over your hips, your head over your heart, lift your shoulders up and relax those shoulder blades down your back. Let's inhale and float our hands all the way up and exhale our hands to our heart center. So it's inhaling, lifting up, looking up and exhaling hands to heart center. Good, let's do that again. Inhale all the way up and exhale all the way down. Good, let's take the hands by the side and inhale, right hand up, leaning onto that left hand, hinging at that elbow, reaching to the side. Good, now inhale, lift up, and on the exhale, sink back onto that left hand. Good, just kind of ebb and flow here, inhaling, and then exhaling. Good, inhaling, and then exhaling. And perhaps each time you come just a tiny bit deeper, so remember, don't force it, just move with the breath. Exhaling. Good, inhaling here, and this time let's exhale, let's hold, let's tiptoe those left fingers out, maybe reach a little bit more to the side, perhaps draw those shoulders away from the ears as you look up towards that ceiling. 
and then pressing into that left hand, come back up to seated, inhale both hands up and float that right hand down. So same thing, let's just hinge over to the side on the exhale and inhale up and exhale hinging and inhale reaching. Good, exhaling and then inhaling and exhaling and then inhaling, good. And this time let's exhale, hinging to the side, tiptoe those right fingers out a little bit, deepen that stretch a little bit if it's all right, looking up but softening those shoulders. Good, breathing into that side body. And then slowly come all the way up and inhale, both hands up and exhale, hands to your heart center. Good, and so let's just take our hands down by our sides, rolling those shoulders away from the ears. And we're gonna just gently drop our left ear over to our left shoulder. So <clears throat> just noting that we carry a lot of tension in the neck and the shoulders and not forcing this at all, simply allowing gravity to be present as we find that stretch. Bring your chin to your chest and gaze towards your left armpit. So notice where the stretch changes. And now keeping the chin to the chest, looking at that left armpit, just kind of roll your chin to the center of your chest and then roll it back. So just some slow, gentle movement. Again, think about not forcing, just noticing. Good. One more time. Good holding. Keeping the chin to the chest, roll slowly over so that now that right ear drops towards that right shoulder. Again, without any need to force or increase the intensity, just allowing gravity to be present as you stretch the side of your neck. Soft, steady breath. And then chin to the chest, gazing towards that right armpit. Now still keeping that body up nice and tall and shoulders away from the ears, but notice how that chest stretch changes in the back of the body, in the neck. Good, and now just a little bit of movement. So looking at that armpit and then drawing the chin to the center of the body and just kind of making almost like a quarter of a circle or a little bit of an arch back and forth. Just nice, gentle movement. Good, one more time, gazing towards that right shoulder. And then we're just gonna slowly roll the chin to the center of our body, looking down, stretching the back of the neck. And if you like, you can take your right hand and just rest it. So I don't want you to push or to increase that intensity at all. Simply the weight of the hand and gravity working to stretch the back of the neck. Good, bringing that hand down to the mat, lifting your gaze to look forward and noticing with awareness, is it all right if I look up towards the ceiling? How does that feel in my neck? Good, one more time, bringing that chin to the chest, looking down with the spine nice and long, relaxing those shoulders. Good, and then one more time, slowly lifting the gaze forward and then up and back only if it feels all right for your neck. slowly bring that gaze forward. Now lift the shoulders up and release those shoulder blades down your back and do that a few times. Inhaling up now, exhaling back and down, inhaling up, exhaling back and down. One more time, inhaling up and exhaling back and down. We carry a lot of tension in our neck and our shoulders like we're carrying the weight of the world on our shoulders. Good. All right, so let's take our hands in front of our body and interlace our fingers invert and press that forward and round out our spine. So bring the chin towards the chest, rounding out the spine like you're trying to move your waistband towards the back of the room. Good. On your next inhale, bring your hands towards your chest, draw your shoulder blades together. So like a little mini chest expansion, drawing those shoulder blades towards the chest. And on that next exhale, pressing the hands forward, rounding out that spine. Awesome job. Now sitting up nice and tall, taking the hands towards the ceiling, relaxing the shoulders, palms of the hands reaching up towards the ceiling. Keep everything nice and tall, soften the shoulders, lengthen the spine. On your next exhale, turn to the left. Just shifting that gaze lightly to the left and now releasing the hands. So left hand becomes, comes behind that hip, right hand to the outside of the thigh. 
Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, a little bit of a twist. Gazing to the side or gazing to the back of the room. Beautiful. Again, we're going to add a little movement here. So I want you to take your left hand, reach it up, and let it come down onto your right thigh. Inhale up, exhale back and down. So movement through the shoulders here. Inhale up, exhale, reaching over. Inhale up, and exhale back and down. Last time, inhale up, exhale, reach forward. So noticing that the elbows are crossed in front of our body, coming forward, hinging forward, and then reaching for those shoulder blades. Watch your fingertips towards those shoulder blades. Soften the shoulders away from the ears and then sit up nice and tall. Good, so you can stay right here if this is all right for you or you can open up into eagle arms. And again, I want you to think about relaxing the shoulders away from the ears, lifting the elbows up to about shoulder height, lengthening up through the crown of your head, softening your gaze forward. So stretching the back of the body Opening up through those shoulder blades. Good. Take one more nice deep breath. And let's unwind those arms and take them behind our back. Little chest expansion. So interlace your fingers here. Reach down, lift up through the crown of your head and draw your chest forward. And then maybe hinge at the hips coming down just a little bit. So notice how that feels in your back. And making sure we're not aggravating or moving ourselves into a place where our body's not ready this morning. Good. Slowly come up and release and lift those shoulders up, back, and down. Just a couple times. Up, back, and down. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and switch our legs up. I have a habit of crossing my legs and then staying right in that same position, which unfortunately is... Um, I should consider not doing that a little bit more frequently or mixing things up a little bit. Balance. Think about the balance. Good. Again, I want you to sit up nice and tall. Shoulders up, back, and down. Now we're going to interlace the fingers in front of our body, but I want you to interlace them in a way that feels a little bit awkward. So opposite um, index finger on top. Again, we're inverting, pressing forward, exhaling, rounding that back, softening the shoulders. Feeling that nice stretch along the back body. And on your inhale, bringing your hands to your chest and just a nice gentle chest expansion. Good exhaling, pressing that forward, rounding out that spine. And then sitting up nice and tall, taking the hands towards the ceiling. So even that slight shift of changing the interlace on your fingers might feel a little bit awkward to you. It might. Um, bring you some awareness of some small muscles in your body that maybe are needing a little extra something this morning. All right, so from here, keep that spine long, soften the shoulders on the exhale, turn to the right. And then undo your hands and let that right hand come down behind your back, left hand to the outside of the thigh. Again, find the length and turn a little deeper into that twist, wringing out the body. Good, so let's add in that shoulder movement now. So take your right hand, reach it up, inhaling and exhaling it, bringing it to the outside of that left thigh. Inhale up, exhale back and down. Inhale up and exhale over. Inhale up and exhale back. Last one, inhale up and exhale over. And once again, you have your elbows crossed in front of you. So hinging forward, reaching for those shoulder blades. And then sitting up and maybe coming into those eagle arms. So notice if you're like me, I have one side that feels a little bit better than the other side. So I'm not going to force that. I'm simply going to find a level of comfort and ease here. Good. Soften the shoulders, lift the elbows, soften and steady that gaze. So we're going to stay here as we stretch that upper back. One more breath. And then we're going to slowly unwind and we're going to take the hands behind the back. Again, we're interlacing, reaching the hands towards the floor, drawing the chest forward, and then consider hinging at the hips, coming forward a little bit if that feels all right. Good. And then slowly release. 
And let's go ahead and just bend our knees up in front of us and give ourselves a little hug, so rounding out that spine. Awesome, and release that, and let's <clears throat> come down onto our mat and move into our child's pose. So coming into that first child's pose of the day, big toes together, maybe knees wide across the mat, hips back, hands forward, letting the heart come down in between the biceps. Maybe the head comes all the way down onto the mat. Again, listening to your own body, finding your version of your child's pose to help to open the hips, stretch the quads, the shins, the ankles, release the low back. And then take just a moment or two to breathe and let that breath create some spaciousness in our body as we open the chest. Think about taking long, grounding exhalation. So as we inhale, draw the breath into the body, but think about exhaling perhaps just a little bit longer. Maybe on each exhale, allowing yourself to sink a little bit deeper into your child's pose. Awesome, and now slowly coming up, tabletop position, wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Take a moment to draw those shoulders away from the ears and engage those core muscles. Little cat and cow to wake up that spine. Lift the hips, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Inhale, tuck the tailbone around the back, tuck the chin, exhale. Good, and now flow. So the movement begins here. Remember, movement is medicine. Think of your joint like rusty gate hinges. So what happens if we don't um, lubricate those hinges? They obviously rust due to inactivity in, and weather, and then it's harder and harder for them to move. So as we move, we actually um, lubricate our own joints with our synovial fluid. So taking time here, gentle movement to wake up the spine. Maybe one more time, exhaling for your cat pose, inhaling for your cow pose, and back to that neutral spine position. Again, shoulders away from the ears, we're gonna take our right leg now back behind us. We're gonna point the toe today and lift the gaze. And on the in, take a nice deep inhale here. On the exhale, think about knee and forehead together. Good, inhale, reaching out. Exhale, tucking and rounding. And keep that flowing, inhaling and then exhaling. And inhaling and exhaling. We call this active cat pose. One more, inhale and exhale. Awesome, inhale, reach out and just allow that to come back to the mat. Take a moment to see how your wrists are doing. You can always pause and rotate your wrists or wiggle your fingers. Take your time. And when you're ready, left leg back, point the toe, lift the gaze. Inhale now, exhale, forehead to knee. Inhale, reach out and extend. Exhale, tuck and round. Good, flow with the breath. Inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale and exhale. Awesome job, then inhale and exhale, float that knee back down. Let's bring our left foot to the top of our mat, coming into our low lunge. So curl the toe, lift the knee, wiggle that heel back, create length in the hip flexor, and then let that knee come back down. So if it's all right, you can slowly bring the hands up to the thigh. If you want a little deeper stretch, inhale up and exhale, sink. Soften and relax the shoulders. Soften and steady the gaze. Allow gravity to do the work. And then slowly bring the hands down. Now step left foot back into your child's pose. Ease the hips back, keep the hands forward. And then slowly come back up, tabletop position. Switch sides, right foot comes forward. Curl the toe, lift the knee, wiggle back. Again, find the length first and then bring the knee down. Take your time transitioning from the floor up or here inhaling and exhaling and sinking and then just pausing and breathing good and then slowly bringing the hands down and right foot goes to the back of the mat one more time to your child's pose just to find all of the stretch there good hips way back hands way forward and then lift up and inhale, come forward, or, sorry, modified plank. So you want your wrists underneath your shoulders here. I want your shoulders away from your ears. Bring your heart through your arms and tuck your elbows in snug and then hinge at the elbows as you lower all the way down onto your mat. 
Sphinx pose, nice little gentle back bend. So this is a great place if you need to do take extra care for your wrists. You can always come into Sphinx pose instead of Cobra. So elbows right underneath the shoulders, hands are spread out nice and wide, shoulders are away from the ears. Let's press into the feet, engage the muscles of the legs, engage the muscles in the back as we open up through the front of the body. Get a couple of breaths here, smooth and steady. And release that down. Bring your hands right by the bottom of your ribs. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, pressing yourself back to your child's pose. Get all of the stretch. Good, and then look at your hands and inhale again, coming forward, modified plank. Bring your heart forward, tuck your elbows. Exhale, lower all the way down on your mat. Now notice that the heels of the hands are by the bottom part of your ribs and your wrists are underneath your elbows. Lift your forehead and your chest, gaze forward, press into the tops of the feet and energize the legs. Good, inhale and exhale. And then inhale and exhale all the way back to your child's pose once again. This time let's move a little bit more connected with that breath. So we inhale forward, modified plank, we tuck the elbows, exhale down. Inhale, lift up to cobra, exhale right back to child's pose. Big stretch here. Good, lift your forehead and look at your hands. Reach your hands as far forward as you can and spread them out wide. Come to your knees, go ahead, curl your toes, lift your knees, take your hips up and back for your first downward facing dog. So look towards your toes. Keep your neck nice and loose and your shoulders. Turn your head side to side. Lift and lower those heels. Paddling the heels or walking your dog. So you know you can always choose child's pose at any point in time during your practice. If down dog becomes too intense. Really focus on getting the work into the back of your body. So if you spread your fingers out wide, push forward like you're pushing the mat away. And at the same time, lean back into your hips and your thighs. Keep your knees a little bit soft. Does not matter if your heels come to the ground. They might, they might not. Both is perfect. One more breath. Now look at your hands and inhale and let's hold plank. So a nice strong plank radiating back through the heels, radiating forward through the crown. Consider bringing the front of your body to meet the back of your body. Like you're squeezing yourself between two plates of glass two planes of cake. You get what I mean. On your exhale, downward facing dog, let it all go. Paddle out those heels. Good, let's do that one more time. Build a little strength. Inhale forward, nice strong plank. Reach, extend through the heels, reach forward through the crown. Ah, deep breaths. And exhale, all the way back, downward facing dog. From this downward facing dog, look at your hands and walk your feet to meet your hands for your first forward fold, softening and releasing. Soften the knees, bring your belly onto your thighs, let your head hang down, feel the weight of the body kind of drifting or spilling forward. And then gently moving the head side to side or grasping opposite elbows and letting the body sway side to side. So really consider Getting rid of the tension off the back of the body. Good, inhaling and then exhaling. Think of your body like you're uh, making, make it, putting fresh sheets on your bed. So when you take that sheet and you shake it out on your inhale, think of that lifting up of the sheet and on the exhale, let the sheet settle back down onto the bed. Let's do that again. Inhale, shake out that sheet, and exhale, float all the way down. Let's bring our hands onto our shins and look forward, nice flat back. And exhale, soften the knees and fold it out. Keep your chin tucked and think about slowly rolling up, rising all the way up into your mountain pose. And standing at the top of your mat. So I'm just going to turn to the side. So we come into our mountain pose. It's our blueprint pose. Everything we need to know about our practice we learn right here. Like kindergarten. Um, <clears throat> so standing up nice and tall. Keeping the weight equally balanced side to side. Bring, let your gaze come to your feet. And notice your feet are about hip width distance apart. You want to root down through the four corners of your feet. 
stacking joint on top of joint for stability. So knees on top of ankles, hips on top of knees, shoulders on top of hips, crown of the head reaching up, chin soft so that the neck is nice and long. Reach your fingers perhaps to the floors, draw the thumbs back and tuck your tummy. Good, so strong mountain pose. Tall and strong like a mountain. Breathe deeply, let that breath move up the front side of your body and then down the back side of your body. We're just gonna move through a couple of sun salutations to continue to warm us up. So on our inhale, rising up and on our exhale, softening our knees for forward fold. Inhaling, half lift, nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Stepping your right foot back and your left to downward facing dog. Get that stretch. And then look at your hands and inhale forward in your plank. It can be full plank, it can be modified. Come forward, lower all the way down. And then your up pose, perhaps cobra this morning or upward facing dog. And then let's go back to downward facing dog. Again, big stretch. You might come through child's pose first. And then look at your hands and walk or step to the top of your mat for forward fold. Inhaling half lift and exhaling forward fold. Bend those knees, inhale, rise to the top. Exhale, hands to your heart. And again, inhale all the way up and exhale forward fold, soften those knees. Hands on your shins, flat back. Exhale forward fold. So bend the knees, step that left foot back, low lunge. Right foot to downward facing dog. Again, pedal of those heels for a moment. Look at the hands and inhale forward in your plank, full or modified. Exhale, lower down. Good, inhale, lift the forehead and the chest, maybe all the way up into your up pose. Lowering the knees perhaps, come back to child's pose. And then curling the toes, lifting the knees for downward facing dog. Once again, we'll step the left foot forward and the right forward fold. Half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, hands to your heart center. Beautiful job. Inhale now all the way up. Exhale for your forward fold. Come to your half lift. Exhale, fold. Good, bend your knees, stepping your right foot back into a low lunge. So holding this low lunge, bringing your right hand directly underneath your shoulder, your left hand onto your left hip, we're gonna rotate towards that left thigh. So drawing belly towards that left thigh, relaxing the shoulders. If you come all the way around, maybe you're lifting that left hand high. Good, actively reaching in all directions. Good, let's lower that left hand down to the mat. So from here, we're gonna add a little bit of movement. I want you to think about shifting forward, picking up that back foot and tapping it with your left hand and then inhale, extend it behind you. So exhale, reach back and tap and inhale, extend. Exhale, reach back and tap and inhale, extend. Last one, exhale, reach back, tap, hold right here, nice and strong. You're gonna take that right leg off to the right side for an IT band stretch. So that left knee is bent, the knee is on top of the ankle that right leg is extending out past the edge of your mat. Nice work here. Good, slowly bringing that in, extending back into your low lunge. And from that low lunge, stepping that left foot all the way back, downward facing dog. Now together, let's look at our toes and walk our hands to the back of our mat, like inchworm, softening the knees Folding that out, head hanging down, shoulders relaxed and loose, breathing. Hands on our shins here, nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Bring the palms of our hands together, exhaling, sinking down into a chair pose. So nice, gentle chair pose, hands still at heart center, gaze is forward, weight is back in our heels. Now bring your belly onto your thighs, your hands to your floors, lift your hips, drop your head forward fold. Looking forward at your hands, walking your hands back into downward facing dog, pressing forward and leaning back. Good, looking at your hands, 
stepping your left foot forward and your right for forward fold. Inhaling half lift and exhaling forward fold. Let's bend those knees and inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful job. Let's do that other side. Big breath all the way up. Inhale, exhale, forward fold, softening and releasing. Hands on the shins, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Now bending those knees, stepping your left foot back this time into your low lunge. Bring your left hand right underneath your shoulder, right hand onto your hip, lengthen your spine and turn. If you come all the way around, perhaps that right hand lifts. You're gonna press actively through your left hand, reaching up through your right hand. We'll slowly bring that right hand down. So let's add that little bit of movement. So we're gonna bend that back knee, reach back, tap the heel, inhale, extend. Exhale, reach back and tap, inhale, extend. Two more, exhaling, inhaling. Last one, exhale, hold. Now extend that right, right leg off to the left, right off your mat, directly out to the side. Lots of weight in that front leg, in that support leg, as you get that IT band stretch. Good, slowly come all the way back to center. Step that left foot back and right foot to downward facing dog. Again, taking a moment or two to breathe right here. And then looking at the toes, walk the hands to meet the toes at the back of your mat. Standing forward fold, soften the knees and release. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend those knees, engage the core. Inhale up, palms of the hands together. Exhale, sink into that chair. Soften and relax the shoulders. Keep that weight back into the heels. Steady the gaze. Now, belly to the thighs, hands to the floor, forward fold. Looking forward and walking your hands back to your downward facing dog. Nice big stretch here. From downward facing dog, look at your hands and bring your right foot forward in between your hands. You're gonna set that left foot down preparing for warrior one. So making sure those core muscles are engaged and inhaling, rising up and exhaling, sinking down. Good, inhaling and then exhaling, opening up to warrior two. So you might need to shift your feet around a little bit to secure your foundation as you reach forward, as you reach back. On that next inhale, straighten the front leg, lift the hands and lift the gaze. And on the exhale, arms at shoulder height. Warrior two. Inhale, lift. And exhale, sink. Inhale, lift the gaze. And exhale, sink. Beautiful. Hold right here. Straighten your front leg. Shift your hips. Reach your right fingers forward and let them come down onto your shin. Whoops. <laughs> onto your shin. Maybe lift that left hand all the way up to the sky. You can always bring the hand onto the hip if that's too intense for the shoulder. Again, think about your own body in this moment. We're all going to bring our hand to our hip, bend that front knee, walk the fingers to the long side of our mat. And from here, making sure that those core muscles are engaged, place one hand on the thigh, the other, soften the knees, tuck your chin, round all the way up. Heel toe your feet in a little bit. Good, turn your toes out to the sides. Roll those shoulders back and down, making sure that the heart is still over the hips and the head is still over the heart. Take your arms up over your head. Imagine you're holding a big beach ball. You have this big, beautiful beach ball in your hands. And again, we're gonna think about moving with our breath. So inhale and then exhale. We're gonna bend that right knee, drag that beach ball along the floor over to the left side, bending that left knee all the way up. And let's go the other way. So bend the knee, draw that beach ball along the floor all the way up. And let's do that again, over to the right, to the left, all the way up. And then over to the left, to the right, all the way up. One last time, over to the right, all the way to the left, all the way up. And over to the left, over to the right, all the way up. 
Beautiful, palms of your hands together. Bring your hands to your heart center and then bring your hands onto your hips. Turn your toes forward, heel toe in a tiny bit, lengthen the spine, engage the core and hinge at your hips, allowing the body to come towards the floor. Hands are gonna come to rest in a half lift. Lengthening the spine, softening, relaxing those shoulders. Good, bend your knees a little bit and walk your fingers around your forward foot. For me, that's my left foot. And from here, we're coming into our warrior one again. So setting that right foot down on the mat and on our inhale, rising up to that warrior one. Inhale and exhale, beautiful job. Inhale and exhale, open up to warrior two. Shift your feet around, feel like you're pulling that mat in two directions. Feel like you're reaching the fingers forward and the fingers back as you relax those shoulders. Steady that gaze forward. Good, on our next inhale, straightening the front leg, lifting the gaze, lifting the hands, exhaling, warrior two. Inhaling, lifting up, exhaling, warrior two. One last time, inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful job. Now, straighten the front leg, shift that back hip, reach the left fingers forward, let them come down onto the shin, let the top hand reach towards the ceiling or bring that top hand to the hip. Think about the shoulders, the ribs and the hips, staying nice and open. Beautiful job. And then when you're ready, softening that front knee, bring your hands down to frame that forward foot. Turn that back heel up to the ceiling. One more time to our downward facing dog. Lift and lower those heels. Find that beautiful back body stretch. And then inhale, come forward in your plank, full or modified. Exhale, lower all the way down. Stack your hands on top of each other and rest your left cheek. Bring your big toes together and let your heels drop open. Close your eyes for a moment or two and steady that breath. Bring your chin to the center of our mat with our hands behind our back and we're going to set up for locust pose. So again, I want the shoulders away from the ears. I want to make sure that my core muscles are engaged. Palms of the hands are facing each other. So on the inhale, lift your forehead and your chest. And then if it's all right, lift your feet. So think about radiating energetically through the feet and through the crown of the head. Palms of the hands drawing towards each other. Fingertips reaching for the space behind you. Good, lots of energy in this locust pose. And then allow the feet to come down. Bring the hands forward, stacking them again. This time rest your right cheek on the back of your hands. Big toes together and heels wide. And release. And breathe. Slowly, bring hands to center, center. Bring your hands down by the lowest part of your ribs. Again, inhale deeply and exhale all the way back. Child's pose, one last big stretch here. Walk your hands to your knees. Take your hands to your side, drop down onto your hips and scoop your legs forward. And let's come to back to our seated position, first into cobbler's pose, which is a nice inner thigh stretch. So walking Hips in towards the heels, wrapping the hands around the ankles, elbows at the inner thighs, finding the length and hinging forward. Good. Getting that nice stretch in the low back, those inner thighs. So you can see that the pattern of our practice has moved from a little bit more intense movement. Now we're, we're shifting towards the final stages of our practice where we enter into that stillness, into the B part of the breathe, move, be. 
I still want you to stay very um, intentional about your breath. So remember, if the breath is steady, the mind is steady. Good. Let's release that and extend our right leg out. We're going to come into cradle the baby. So making sure we have a good foundation, finding those sit bones, lengthening that right leg, sitting up tall, releasing those shoulders, tucking that tummy. Lift that left foot up. Cradle that foot in the palm of your right hand, perhaps wrapping the left arm around that shin, and then hug it in towards the body. Keep that foot flexed. Um, so this is called cradle the baby. You could rock your baby a little bit if you like, or maybe you want to make some circles. That feels good on that those glute muscles that get oh so tight. Good, gently rocking. We're making circles, but really mindful to lengthen that spine, keeping that right foot flexed, engage that right leg. Awesome. And then from here, let's place that left foot to the outside of our thigh. Again, nice and tall. Wrap now the right arm around the thigh, left hand behind the back. Lengthen first, and then turn with the breath as you exhale, finding your way into that twist. Inhaling, lifting up, exhale all the way back to center. So this particular posture is called, um, well, it's called a couple of things. It is a half cow face legs. Um, in yin, it's called shoelace. So I'm going to do a version of half cow face shoelace. <laughs> I'm not sure that's even a thing, but it feels kind of good. So I want you again to keep your right leg straight, flex that foot. Attempt to keep the knees stacking on top of each other. And then we're just gonna um, tent our fingers by the sides of our body, lengthen our spine, and hinge forward to a depth that feels good in our own bodies. So we, I talk often about Goldilocks. Not too much, not too little, just right. Find that just right stretch, and let's hang out. You can stay here. You could grasp that knee if you like. Let gravity take over as we sink. You could reach for the sole of that foot, get a little extra stretch in the calf and the hamstring. Just keep that chin tucked so that the neck is long. Beautiful stretch here. Continue to think about the exhales being very grounding. So maybe try to extend that exhale just a little bit. Slowly coming all the way up. And let's take this to a little bit of a counter twist. So now I'm going to bring my right hand behind my right hip, left hand towards my left ankle, lengthen the spine. And again, just that little turn. Noting where it feels good in my body to kind of hang out there for a breath or two. Good. Lengthen the spine. Inhale, exhale, center. And we're going to switch it up. So left leg gets extends and we flex that foot right foot comes in we cradle it in the palm of our left hand we wrap that right arm around the shin so nice and tall as you hug that shin into the body keep that foot flexed and again cradle the baby you're maybe rocking your baby perhaps you're making circles with your hip our yoga practice is an intuitive um, sensational practice so it's not about uh, pushing past the edge it's about being in tune or in step with our breath in sync with our breath because our breath always tells us if we're at our edge if we're working with um, kindness gentleness or if we're working with a little bit more aggression um, in that competitive space. So we always are thinking about that concept of staying in step or in sync with our breath. Good. Hold at center and lower that left foot down. Again, arranging so that everything is nice and tall, joint on top of joint for stability. Wrapping that arm around the 
the leg, right hand behind the back. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, and turn. Twists are such awesome postures. We call them smart poses because they bring your body what it needs when it needs it. So they are refreshing and restorative um, at the same time. They replenish you in all sorts of ways. Good. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, center, and find whatever we're calling this pose. Half, half cow face, shoelace, tent the fingers by the sides of the body, lengthen the spine, and then hinge. Again, just listen to your own body where it feels like it's a good idea to stop, then, then stop and hold and pause and breathe. You might wrap your arms around your knee, let gravity take over a little bit more, and you might also reach for the sole of that foot and increase that stretch in the calf and the hamstring. Good, and a few deep breaths here, inhaling and exhaling. And then once again, slowly sit up, nice and tall. We'll take it to that little counter twist. Lengthen the spine first, soften, relax the shoulders, then turn. Good. and only go where your breath is still remaining as deep as possible. Lengthen the spine and inhale, exhale back to center. Let's unwind that. Again, bending those knees in front of us, maybe give ourselves that little bit of a hug, rounding out that spine, tucking the chin. One more big breath. And then take your time and roll down onto your mat. And I want you to have your strap handy as we finish up these last few postures. So rolling down onto your mat, bringing those knees into your chest, gently rocking side to side. And no, just knowing that the more we bring the weight of the thighs onto the belly, the more you get, um, or the more you'll find that your back can release and, and feel that sensation of that massage from the floor beneath you. Good, we're gonna lower those feet down, setting up for bridge pose. So making sure that the shoulders are away from the ear, shoulder blades are under the back. The legs are parallel to each other, but not touching. Bring your fingertips towards your heels. Maybe your heels in a little bit closer. Tuck your tummy in and on your inhale, press into your feet to lift your hips. And on your exhale, release one vertebrae at a time. Good, let's flow through that a couple of times. Inhale and lift, and exhale and lower. And this time, inhale, lift, and hold. And as you hold at the top, try to soften your glutes so that it becomes a little bit more back bend and you're using your um, hamstrings, you're stretching through the quads, the front of the body, but you're not squeezing the life out of your tailbone. And then once again, roll down one vertebrae at a time. We're going to bring those knees back into the chest. One more gentle rock side to side. And then go ahead and grab your strap. And we're going to place that strap around the ball of your right foot. Send that right heel high to the sky. Let's start with that left knee bent. Again, mindful of the shoulders. Gently drawing that leg forward as you lift up through the heel. So we want to start just with a hamstring stretch. So hamstring calf, little softness in that knee. And again, taking your time, breathing. Awesome. Now, extend that left leg out long. Bring your left hand on top of your left hip and slowly lower your right leg out to the side. So I want you to be mindful to keep both hips equally grounded. So it doesn't matter if I come all the way open if my left hip lifts off the mat. So I want you to think about equal weight on the back side of your body, on the back side of your hips, as you open up to the side. And that left hand on the hip bone 
just helps to anchor that sensation. Good, slowly bring that leg back up to center. You're gonna place your left hand on the strap. Now right arm out to the side. And take your time here, very slowly beginning to move off to the left. So you wanna feel that stretch shift to the outer edge of your hamstring into that IT band as you roll. And then perhaps you roll all the way over into your spinal twist. So that bottom hip underneath the top hip Right arm reaches out to the side. You can shift your gaze to that right hand. Very nice. One more breath. And making sure that you've tucked your tummy in, slowly guiding that leg up to center. And we're going to switch, bringing that left foot into the strap, lowering that right foot down. So again, watch those shoulders. Nice long um, sensation of the whole spine on the mat, lifting up through that left heel, gently guide that forward for that hamstring stretch, keep a little softness in that knee. Oh, man, that feels pretty good this morning. The only way this would be more perfect if I had music in the background. <laughs> One thing at a time, I'm just excited that I uh, managed to to get this in a live version. Alrighty, let's take that right leg, extending, flexing that foot, right hand on the right hip, and now slowly lower that leg off to the left. Again, only to the point where both hips stay pressing on the mat. If you open all the way up and that right hip lifts, I want you to gently guide it back so that you feel the back side of your body with equal pressure. So tucking your tummy in to gently guide that leg up to center, right hand on the strap, left arm goes out to the side this time. And again, take your time slowly moving off to the left, to the right, sorry, to the right, feeling that stretch shift the outer edge of that hamstring into that IT band. And then when you're ready, all the way into your spinal twist. And go ahead and shift your gaze over to your left hand. Both shoulders equally grounded on the mat. Making sure that those core muscles are engaged as you guide that leg all the way back up. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that strap. We're going to bring those knees back into the chest one more time this morning. And we're going to begin to shift into our final relaxation. Consider how your back feels. You can always keep your knees bent. Walk the feet wide and drop the knees towards each other. You could bring the soles of your feet together. You could lift your hips and tuck your tailbone. Letting that low back rest on the mat, or you could extend those legs into your Shavasana. Corpse pose, final relaxation. And whatever posture you've chosen, go ahead and close your eyes. This is our do nothing moment, our be. Breathe, move, and be. And in this moment, do nothing. Does it feel like there's always something you're supposed to be doing? There are always places you have to go. Jobs or activities to do. Everyone seems to be in a hurry. Well, for this moment, there is nothing to do except, of course, to breathe. So close your eyes and begin to imagine your body from all sides as if looking at your body from above. Feel yourself being pulled into that inner ocean of peace and quiet 
as the ripples on the surface start to subside. Our outside world can be so busy, but inside we can find peace and tranquility. In this moment, keep your breath soft and your mind will follow. Allow yourself to move deeper still. Allow yourself to find that peace and tranquility. Moving towards your inner core as if you were porous and you were being absorbed into yourself. Breathe in and breathe out. Noticing the simple rhythm of your breath. Allow that breath to relax you, mind, body and spirit. Breath breathes in, breath breathes out. I'm going to leave you right where you are. Perhaps you're in your corpse pose. Perhaps you've come to seated. I'm going to take a big breath for all of us. Inhaling up. Exhaling hands to heart center. Again, I'd like to say thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.